Oh, my lips are crusty. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna be making Louis Vuitton jeans. I'm gonna be custom making them. Um, I usually make my own jeans now. So I get my jeans just from like Goodwill or anything like that. And they're usually mom jeans or like I use, I can get men's jeans too because they have really good sizes and they usually fit perfectly. So, well, at least how I like them. So they'll be like tighter in the waist area and then loose in the legs but um yeah i'm gonna make some custom louis jeans and i just went to michael's and got like some white paint and then a couple paint brushes and then i cut out these stencils so then i have all the louis stencils cut out and stuff and this is like kind of like um poster board so i cut out the actual stencils these took forever but I cut out the actual stencils and then put it on poster board and then cut them out again. Let's get started. Okay, so here we start with the first stencil, you know, we're just going to dip my little paintbrush into the white paint and dabble, dabble, dabble right onto that stencil there. So we get a nice little coating, all right. And we finished that one. Now we're gonna move on to the next stencil. I wasn't really sure how to keep that circle there in the middle down, so I just had to hold it with my hand and get a little dabble of paint all over my hand. So we're gonna dabble, dabble. We're gonna dabble, dabble onto that one and get a nice little coating again. We finished that one. Then we're gonna go back and do a nice little second coat on this uh, first stencil we did. And then I'm gonna take a different paintbrush, a smaller one, and. I basically am just fixing the edges because when you use a stencil, it freaking bleeds through, so you don't get a straight edge. And then I do the same thing with this one because I had to fix up both of them. And then I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. This time I got a little tiny bit smarter and used some tape to tape down the edges so I could hold down the other stencil in the middle. So. Yeah, I got a few smarts there, not too many, don't go crazy, but like, applaud myself for that one, and then we just go back and we're just doing more and more stencils, so yeah, boom! This stuff got pretty repetitive and I got very tired. Um, but I mean, if you have the patience to do this stuff, they turn out pretty cool. Um, it literally took me forever. So I started doing it and then I had to go to work. Um, sorry, I have like a sickness right now, so I can't really breathe. <laughs> but I had to go to work and then I came back and finished them during the nighttime. So yeah, it took forever. As you can see, this is me contemplating finishing it because I was tired. So after a short thought, I uh, jumped right back into it. Yee. I'm not really sure why I didn't bring the paint closer to me. I just literally kept reaching as far as I possibly could to dip my paintbrush in because I'm a moron and didn't want to bring it closer. So let's watch me repeatedly reach so far. And then these are the finished jeans. I added a black outline with like glitter inside of it because I didn't like how they looked with just the white. I wanted to clean it up a little bit, which also took forever. And then after I was done with that, I ironed them with some parchment paper. I'm not really sure what this is. I seen it online, so you know, I think it's like heat setting it or something. Again, not really sure, um, but yeah, I just did it because it, kind of made me feel better, the end. <laughs> 